Hey everybody, Rob Williams, Generation X in Podcast, Outer Rim Rookie. I want to do a bit of a product review today. Um, I've done one before with the belt uh, from Walt's Trooper Factory, and I thought I'd do one for this guy right here, Henry's Helmet Fan. Henry's Helmet Fan is a fan that I use for my uh, Nia Nun, this guy right here. We'll get to see you again in a second, buddy. Let's Hang on two seconds. Just recently in our own little garrison uh, forum chat, there was a question about what helmet fans would you recommend? Uh, and this name came up again and again and again. And I really do like these fans. Again, I use it for Nia Nun. It's done me well. And uh, I just, I had to buy a new one. I had to buy a new pack for my Reese costume. So I thought, well, it just came in. And I want to show you what's inside. So uh, let's give it a shot here. Let's take a look. So Henry was nice enough to, uh, he saw my email address, uh, generationxwingpodcast at gmail.com, just in case you're curious. He saw my email address and gave me some stickers, which is really cool. So I actually put them on my uh, case. So let's dig into what comes with the fans. Well, obviously you have a couple fans here. It's all nice and bubble wrapped. We'll get to that in a second. Some instructions on how to do it. All right. Uh, business card, of course. There was the stickers, as I mentioned. These are really good. Uh, these are these are Velcro uh, stickers you put on the side of the fan, which I'll show you later in a second. And it comes with four of them. And a whole bunch of wires. Oh, sorry. Can't forget this little hook here. I haven't really used that before, but I might be using it for the first time with the reuse costume, but we'll get into that in a sec. And these wires um, allow you to kind of weave and wrap your fans in your helmet or head any way you can, whether it's a Nia Nun head or a Bith. I saw some great pictures of the Bith head. The website itself is really cool. It shows you a lot of detail on how to hook this up and little tips on where to put it. Before I go any further, what did this cost me? This whole set, it comes with wires. There's some sets that come without the wires. One one uh, fan, two fans, higher powered fans. This one here cost me about $60 American. That was the shipping as well. So was that in Canadian, $130? I'm just kidding. But it cost me about uh, Canadian, I guess that's 80 bucks or so. It is a bit pricey, but um, I, I, w I think it's worth it, personally. Anyways, so it comes with wires that you can plug in and kind of weave around the inside of the helmet. USB plug to plug into the battery, which I'll show you later. I have an example of that. More uh, extended wires. And this one here is the on-off button. It's very cool, easy to push, uh, especially, again, using my knee and none example, I'm able to just press the button and it's dug in there. It's easy to press, no real problems. And these things really hang on tight. They they stick together and they don't let go. So you're jostling a little bit. Oops, there we go. You're jostling a little bit and they don't, it's it's pretty strong. It takes a lot to unhinge it. There you go. That was a, it took a little bit of strength. So that's positive, it's a very positive thing. So there you go, lots of wires. And as I said, it comes with instructions as well on how to do it. It's very useful. All right, so there's the wires. There's the stickers, and let's take a look at the fan. Okay. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There we go. There's knew there was another one. Put that over there. They're very cool design. Oh, more wires, of course. There we go. Very simple design. There's the fans. Um, obviously, powers out here. Plug it in to the cord however you want, and eventually it plugs into a power source. I'll show you my power source. This is a battery I use for inside Nia Nun's head. It's uh, quite a honking little piece there, but it does fit inside the bucket. Uh, you can probably find smaller ones. I don't know a lot, and I think that's this, <laughs> this review is going to come from a complete novice. So. This one here, you just plug into the wall, charges up, ready to go. And it holds a charge for quite a while, but that's not what this is about. This is about the fan. So let's plug it in.
So here you go. It's hooked up. It is hooked up just like the card here. It's just I don't have a lot of space. But each one has its own on off button. And I'm going to show you how strong it is actually. It's pretty strong. I'm going to okay, put the little plastic here next to the next to the fan. Air comes out here. So let's turn it on. One, two, three. That's just one. There's the other. Yeah, it's a lot of power. I'm pretty happy with that. So what do these pieces do? Well, as you can see, the air only goes in one direction, but if you want to redirect that air, let's have the air come this way, come, coming at the camera. So let's pop her on. It allows it to curve into the helmet a little bit more and it's super nice. What I noticed with the fans, you don't want anything resting on top of this because it will slow it down or stop it. So if I push my finger down, it stops it. So you need a little bit of kick to get it going. Yeah, so one of the things I noticed with my pads, make sure that there's enough space here. It's not blocking too much because it's just stopping the air from coming in. It grabs the air from the outside and throws it, throws it through. So you want a little bit of space here to allow the air to flow. You can see how fast it's going. Really good stuff. Love it. That's some nice fresh air coming through. Yeah, these fans are great. I really dig them. You can also attach these Velcro uh, pieces here, uh, sticky on one side, obviously. So you just stick it onto the fan, attach it to your, your bucket or your latex head or whatever it is you're attaching it to. And it's really strong. This is really good Velcro. Now let me show you quickly how I have it built into my uh, Nia Nun. All right, so here's the big guy. Say hello. Hey, what's up? I'm going to uh, flip them over and show you the inside of this bad boy here. That's uh, that's, oops, that's the chin strap. We don't need that today. So I have a. You can see there's a uh, helmet crown right here, and inside, behind the helmet crown is a slot where I can stick the battery. Right, you almost have it velcroed. I have a lot of velcro in here. I stick it in there. Let's uh, hook it in first. There, there we go. Attaches in there. Now inside, I have a lot of uh, padding that goes all the way around. My head barely touches it. It's just there to provide support, just in case. Um, the fans, there's one on this side right here. And another one to match on this side here. Wires go throughout the inside here, but I do have the on-off switch. I think I have it hooked up to one on-off switch. So here's the on-off switch. I just click it in. It's working here. It's working here. So yeah, so somehow I rigged it to have to only work with one on-off switch. You can have it work for two if you want, but uh, yeah, I managed to figure it out with one. It's not too loud. Um, it's hard enough to hear in this bucket, so I wasn't too worried about uh, the fan. It is next to my ear, so my ears are right about there. But it does push the air around here. So as I said, the fans, it gets nice circulation in here. And it's not too loud. There's a, there is a bit of noise. It's not to the point where I can't hear what's going on outside. And this is a thick head. It's 3D printed with fiberglass inside. And then, you, like I said, you have the padding, the thick foam padding, you have a crown, the battery up here, everything. It's just a lot of stuff inside. And then you have this fabric here to block the view from inside the helmet so it's so nobody can see me inside. So there's a lot going on in this bucket. There you go. The wires are very flexible. Uh, not not as flex, not super flexible. You don't want to go too rough with them, but this, it doesn't move a lot. I, I've just fixed it to where it needs to help here. So Henry's helmet fans in actual use inside this big thick melon of of mine are right there. So that's about it. Uh, not much to else to review. I really strongly recommend these fans. They're so useful, good power. They come, like I said, they come in different uh, strengths, uh, different combinations. Check the website out. There'll be a link down below for more information. Tell them I sent you, why not? Uh, just give them a little bit of love because he gave you some cool stickers. <laughs> I'm, I'm easy that way. So overall, what do I think of Henry's helmet fans? Uh, fantastic, good power on it. Got some great doodads to help 
direct the air inside the helmet. The wires are good, they're strong. I mean, not overly durable, but you gotta treat everything with care, right? The power buttons are easy to use. The Velcro, I think I forgot to mention this. Velcro comes in hook and loop, two of each. In this case, what I purchased it for. And the price comes about $60 American, which is about 80 bucks Canadian. And little instructions to boot. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped you on your decision on on getting your own fans for your own bucket or alien head or whatever else. So stay tuned for how I'm going to hook this bad boy into my Reese costume, the latex mask. I've got an idea. And it's gonna go right up the schnozzola. More to come for that. Thanks for watching. And remember, armor and air conditioning is built on hope. Bye.